Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. Kaylee is trying some more fair food. Kaylee? Yeah, and what's a fair without food, am I right? On this second round of featured fair food, we've got classics like the corn dog and also new age sandwiches involving barbecue. A quick trip down the long stretch of food vendors at the Ozark Empire Fair is sure to leave you satiated, but what are you going to slurp it down with? Check out this fair food that may be too hard to resist grabbing a bite yourself. Fair food only comes around once a year, and a funnel cake isn't the same as a fair funnel cake. Or take the age old classic corn dog. Yes. Under the crispy outer breading, you'll bite into a soft inner shell of hot dog. Wash it down with a jug of root beer, and you're good to go. These summer staples of the fair date back decades. But there's a more recent food item that's dripping in liquid gold. Barbecue sauce. Meet the Dirty Bird. This is our new Dirty Bird sandwich, which is uh, breaded and fried uh, chicken tenders, pulled pork, coleslaw, barbecue sauce served on a Kaiser roll. At Stockyard Smokehouse, it's served with a side of beer battered sea salt fries, and your palate is appeased. But it doesn't stop there. We've got pulled pork, brisket, uh, smoked bologna sandwiches, uh, smoked turkey breast, and lots of deep fried side dishes. The biggest hit comes from the smoker. The biggest hit is definitely the pulled pork. Pulled pork and the brisket are the two big sellers. The sliced brisket is actually excellent. For something to wash it down with? We have uh, eight different brands of beer, and we have soft drinks uh, and water. No iced tea. Stockyard Smokehouse boasts both indoor and outdoor seating, open from 11 a.m. to 9 at night. Come see us. Food's delicious. Beer's cold. <laughs> Again, that's 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. All throughout the fair, which runs until Saturday. A long list of food vendors at the fair, including other classics like your lemon shake-ups, your uh, chicken on a stick, anything can be found at the fair. Did you try that, you said? Yeah. Yeah, it was good. I bet it was good, but my gosh, it's so big. It's so huge. Yeah, you could probably split it up into two people, if not more. Yeah, absolutely. So. Those fries, though, looked yeah. amazing. So yeah. Beer battered fries. Beer, Beer battered. battered sea salt. Ooh. Yeah, you got me at the sea salt. I don't there even know if go. I've had that before. Yeah, it was good. Um, I don't even. I don't think I even dipped it in anything. It doesn't necessarily need a dip, but mm -hmm. you know, a good honey mustard or ranch would be. I do. Yeah. How come everything is on a stick at the fair? It's easier to walk around. It is. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Can yeah. I ask? Have you had you ever? Before I waited tables at a barbecue joint, I had never heard of putting coleslaw on um, a sandwich, on oh, a, sandwich a burger. Mm -hmm. Had you guys ever had yeah. that or enjoyed that before? I, I, I think I, I like coleslaw okay. Times. I don't mm -hmm. prefer it on my burger. On your burger? What do yeah, you Yeah, I think I've had it a couple times, but um, I, I wouldn't go out of my way to do it myself. Yeah. But if, if, some, if, some, if a restaurant is serving it, then why not? Yeah. It, I'm deterred by a huge burger. It could have a lot of great things on it, but if it's too big, mm -hmm. I don't want to eat it. I don't know why. What's wrong with me? Well, I don't know. I would just always cut it in it's half. It's still yeah. tall. And Even if you cut it. it. And then smash it. <laughs> And, and you'll still get all those flavors. Well, and that's probably it. They're you could probably all the different flavors. You know in what you there. should do is you what? could cut the whole thing up and mix it together like a salad because that make would, it smaller that pieces. Would be yeah. Easier. yeah. Forego the bun and then just get yeah, some I lettuce. Yeah, I could do or without something. the bun and all the goodies inside is what I would love. The bun I, was good though. Mm. Yeah, I bet it was. Was it a butter bun? Oh man, he told he said what it was too, but I, yeah. I forget. Uh, Kaiser roll. We just got word yes. from Natalie, our that's director. <laughs> Voices in my head. I love having voices in my head. <laughs> Thanks I for the same. So I, by the way, ladies, I did look up yesterday. Uh -huh. So Natalie, our director, told us about, you know, I wanted to make a keto corn dog. Sure. Oh, right. I looked up some recipes. Mm -hmm. And all of them, I would have to buy a lot of stuff, like xanthan gum. Right, to hold I it might together. Have yeah. some, to stick it together. Do you have some? Could you I bring might some? have some. Almond flour, which you know I'm not I a have fan some. of. I think I have some. OK, we're good. But I wouldn't put almond flour on. See, I want to use cauliflower. I want to try to make what? cauliflower. But what are you going to stick it together with? Well, egg. I was thinking egg. All of them call for egg. Some milk or heavy cream, mm -hmm. yeah. xanthan gum, almond flour. Yeah. And what I was thinking about taking the rice cauliflower and pureeing it in my, to make it more liquidy, yeah. small, tiny pieces versus the rice Still, cauliflower. Still, I think just with the egg, it'll fall apart. 
I think you're going to need that. I'm just going to tell you. Well, yeah, if she has, I'll borrow her yeah. xanthan bread. I'm just going to tell you if that breading isn't thick and crunchy like the fair. <laughs> then don't even bother. Yeah, don't, don't, don't even try it. Yeah, don't ruin it for us, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm teasing. <laughs> Well, you know what? I mean, I do like the keto idea. I mean, uh, yeah. Just for fun yeah. to see. And if you can make it, then hey, you have a whole new business going there. Even keto if, corn dogs. Yeah. Who's done that? Even if it's a Pinterest fail. Yeah. It's still fun you to know, make. It is. Yeah. It's fun to try. So, it's ladies, then, quick question. Sorry I distracted you from the fair food. If you had to pick one fair food that was your absolute favorite, go to every year at the fair, what do you pick? I probably would go with the corn dog. I really don't know because I like trying something new every every time. Yeah, like, yeah. Corn I don't dogs eat corn classic. dogs on a regular basis, so it's just a great place to eat a corn dog. I, I like agree. sharing a big plate of funnel cake. Oh. See, that I went simple really though. Tall, too. But they had sometimes they have a lot of toppings on it. Uh -huh. I say forget the toppings, just the regular funnel yeah. cake with powdered sugar. Powder sugar. I'm set. Yeah. Uh -huh. I can do about one little tiny bite of that, and that's about all. From oh, me. really? That's yeah. it. Yeah, that's about <laughs> it. I would but say Kayla's though. like, no, you love it. Yeah, yeah. A few it's years so ago, the, you know, it was the it was the year of like everything fried, like uh -huh. deep fried Twinkies. Yeah. I had never had one of those fried Oreos. Oh, oh they're good. It was pretty Are good. Are they really good? Yeah, <laughs> it was really good. Oh my goodness. I don't know if there's anything that's fried that isn't good. That is true. Good point. I'm we probably didn't like fried ants. We'd like fried crunchy. If, don't tell me what it is. Crumplets, yeah. If we didn't know. Let's tell Jamie Johansson about that on Friday tomorrow. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> Right. So if she would have fried the cow tongue, you would have been fine? I'm telling you, if she would have fried it and put some salt on it, I don't know if well, I would have minded. she did kind of a little bit in the skillet. It really didn't taste No, bad. I need some batter. Oh, uh, you got you. Got I need you. some batter. <laughs> some batter and some salt on that tongue. So you can't actually see the physical outside yeah, of absolutely. it? Absolutely. Well, if she had Hidden. brought that in, that was pretty uh, alarming, that, the little look of that tongue. I ate it, and I thought it was great. I ate it, and I could, it was okay. I just couldn't get past the idea. See, growing up in, when I, well, not just growing up in Dallas, but when I was born, I was born in Kansas, my grandpa would take us to the gas stations, and we'd get fried chicken liver and fried chicken gizzards. And as kids, we just ate them up. I didn't know what a liver or a gizzard was, and it was so delicious. I never liked, li uh, I never liked uh, liver or anything. My dad would make that. He would make the beef liver, but he'd put a lot of onion in there, so that would kind of distract from the taste. But I'm like, what are we having? Liver. Oh, okay. Yeah, Kelly, I love Kaylee, it. don't you agree? Anything fried with a batter with a lot of salt dipped in ranch, it it's going to be good. It helps. Yeah. It's going to be good. <laughs>